Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are diving into the Sketch Basics video series again and in today's video I want to explain to you what symbols are and how you can use them to speed up your design workflow. Symbols are a perfect way to create reusable elements in your design. I will show it to you right inside Sketch. So if you check out this design file right here, you will notice that we have a couple of things that are used across different artboards. For example, the top navigation with the logo, the navigation menu itself, and a couple, of, a couple more options. And we have the same menu over here as well. And if I check it out right here, if I select it, I can see that it has this little uh, diamond shape um, in the layout panel in its name and it also gives us a couple of cool uh, different parts of the symbol itself and which will I explain later on. And this symbol right here, this navigation bar with the logo is used across multiple artboard, artboards. And what symbols do basically is uh, they help you to manage a certain element, a certain component at a single place and it changes all of those different instances that have been uh, created. So this is basically an instance of the uh, of the top menu and this one as well and I will show you what a change will do. So we have the logo on our symbols page we have the logo right here on the left side and we have as I said this menu and a couple more options and if we now for example drag, if, drag the logo all the way down uh, all the way to the right and we drag those elements all the way to the left you will notice that if we go back into our design uh, page, we have a changed, a mixed up navigation here. And not just on this artboard, it's also changed on this one as well. Because as I said, if you uh, change your symbol and your symbols page on this uh, spot, those changes will be made on all of the instances. So it's a great way and fast way to change the basic elements and reusable elements of your design. And I will show you a couple of cool examples now that will uh, give you a more and better impression of what you can actually do with them. So imagine you're creating a new um, app design and you want to create one for the iPhone 12 maybe. I create a new artboard. And for the iPhone 12, we can now use the insert menu right here and we can go down to symbols and iOS design. It's a uh, library that I connected. Um, and here I have a couple of very cool um, symbols that I can use for my design and that are reusable, as I said. So for example, we can use a bar, maybe a uh, tab bar because we want to have a tab navigation down here at the bottom. Um, so if we place it right here, we need to expand it a bit like that and boom, here we go. We can add even more of these symbols to our document. So maybe we also need a navigation bar, which is placed at the top like that, drag it right there. And we also have a status bar in here. And the content of the page is usually very like dynamic and it's usually like in individual per screen, per artboard. But imagine like this is the start page and we have a big logo in here, like a, uh, I don't know, like a splash screen or something like that. It's just a, like, just an example to show you the basics. So this is going to be the splash screen. And then maybe we have a, I don't know, a grid of different photos in here, you know. Um, we have a grid, oops, sorry, like that, can create multiple uh, elements. It's like the content of these artboards is a bit like a, like a wireframe, you know, because what this example right here is about um, is the symbols that we are using and we are using the nav bar at the top and the tab bar down here. And what we can do now is to change up parts of it. Um, we can we can mix it up. So for example, we have this little, uh, we have this title right here. And maybe we don't like the title. We don't want to have the title inside the navigation bar. What we can do now is to like uh, double click it 
in this case, I'm going to unlink it from the library because I want to use the symbol inside my uh, own sketch file and it shouldn't be part of the library. Uh, I will tell you more about libraries in an upcoming videos. But what we can do now here is to go in here, we have a center part and we can just get rid of it. And if I click on return to instance, it's going to drag me all the way back into my design file and you can see on both artboards we don't have the title anymore. Maybe we don't want to have an edit like label right there, rather have an icon or something like that. Of course, what we can do is to double click it or also choose the, win the, the symbols page from our uh, layer panel, from our page panel. And in here we have a right part, a right side. And you could do all kinds of different stuff in here. Uh, what we can do, of course, is to just hide it. We could delete it. Uh, we could even like create an icon or insert an icon and use it in here. And in, in case uh, this should be, in this case, this should be the icon that we want to place in our uh, UI. We can return to instance and we see that our new icon is basically placed in all of those artboards that are using the symbol. So that's what symbols are and that's how you use them. But how do you create a new symbol? So I will tell you that as well. Imagine we have a little card right here. Imagine this is our card, but of course cards are usually white and have some kind of shadow to them. I'm gonna add a new shadow right here. And in such a card, we usually have some kind of graphic, like a photo or a thumbnail or whatever. Let me place that right here. This is going to be the thumbnail that we have. It's a placeholder for the moment, but what we also usually have is a like title. So this is going to be the title. Of course, not in yellow and not in such a big size. <laughs> so I'm gonna change it up, place it in here, and we can even decrease the font size a little bit like that. And a subtitle. I would like to add a little subtitle here. So we have some more uh, info available. So this could be our symbol because it's going to be a reusable element. What we want to do with the symbol later on is to dynamically change the thumbnail. We want to dynamically edit the title and also the subtitle. I'm uh, renaming this to subtitle or caption or whatever. And how you create a symbol now is to select all of those layers that you would like to turn into a symbol. And what you can do now is to right click and create symbol. You could also uh, use the little uh, icon up here. And this little pop-up is going to open up. By the way, I'm using Sketch version 70. If this UI looks a bit different to you, that's why you probably haven't updated to uh, Mac OS, Big Sur and uh, Sketch version 70. So but all of these features will also work in previous versions. Um, back to the window that we have right here, we can now set a certain name for our symbol. So in this case, I'm going to call it UI card and we can add a layout. So, so now layout is a bit more advanced. I will also explain this in an upcoming videos. Um, what we also make want to make sure is that it's going to be sent to the symbols page. Um, this is uh, ticked by default and we shouldn't change that because of course we want to have it in our symbols page. So as you see, it's uh, it grouped those layers up. So we have this symbol or shape right here. Um, and if we go into our symbols page, we have our UI card symbol in here. Uh, it's like a normal artboard in here. We can change different stuff about it and edit also the details, the different layers that are in here. So it's just like a normal artboard on our normal um, design page. But the cool thing that you will now see is that we can replace these simple rectangles with a more detailed symbol, all right? Uh, what you, of course, what you basically could do is to make a copy of it and make a copy of that and so on. So you can copy symbols and have different uh, copies of that in here. What you could also do is to go into the insert panel, go down to symbols, this document, because they are located in our document, and then just click the UI card and drag it to your desired position. 
but maybe you would like to create a different kind of UI card from this symbol right here. What I would recommend you is to go into your symbols page, make a duplicated version of your UI card. And here I want to make a slightly bigger UI card. So what I'm gonna do is to expand our, um, our symbol artboard basically. And then I will also change up the dimensions of our um, rectangle that we ha have in here like that and then I'm going to replace the tile a bit so this is going to be the rough uh, bigger symbol um, the bigger UI card the bigger card that we're going to work with I'm gonna rename it as well to UI card um, slash big and you will notice something in a very like a few seconds uh, I will leave that just as UI card. This is going to be UI card slash big. And we have a very, very cool feature inside Sketch. But before I show it to you, you will see that we can insert it from our panel right here as well. And you already see that we have UI card and then we have UI card again with some kind of sub menu in here. And this is UI card big. And that's because I added this little slash uh, onto the name of it. So if we go back into the symbols panel, symbols page, we see UI card slash big and UI card slash big is basically a kind of folder structure, a sub menu that I create by uh, using this slash and different names. Um, if I now rename this to UI card slash small, you will notice that it's also as well now in part of this sub menu and we can now distinguish between big and small. And then there's a very, very awesome feature that's now part of Sketch since uh, I think version 69 and it's part um, of the component view. And here we now have an overview of all of the symbols that we have. So it's not like the symbols page, which is um, like the page where we added our uh, symbols. It's more like a design system or symbols organizer view. And in here, you will notice that our UI card is also already organized inside uh, here as well. We could, of course, but also rename um, our UI cards. Uh, this is slash big, as I said, and this one is slash small. That's the reason why those uh, UI cards are in the same kind of folder in here. We also have a um, like filter list in here that we can use and we can also set it to all symbols. And from here, we can now also change a few settings of the symbols. These settings are a bit more advanced. As I said, I will make another video um, about that because I just want to have a basic video telling you all of the things you need to know about symbols. The last thing for this video that I would like to show you is that you can also hit C on your keyboard and then you get this very cool window. This is also some kind of um, component view, like the, the component view I just showed you. But what you can do in here is to check out all of your symbols and simply drag in a symbol into your design. And you can hit C again and uh, drag in more. So it's a very convenient and easy feature. I love the C components uh, view window. And the last thing I would like to show you for this tutorial is that you can of course also transform your symbols back into a normal group of layers. So right click your symbol and then go all the way down to detach from symbol. And then what you will notice is that we have a normal folder right here with all of our different layers and it's not a symbol anymore. So if I make a change to our symbols in here, maybe I'm changing the color to a blue, you will notice that all of these cards, the, the smaller cards will change to blue, but this not because it's not a symbol anymore. And I hope this gives you a better impression of what you can do with symbols, create reusable components. You can of course detach them and they will make it very easy for you to structure bigger design files right away. And I recommend to you to create those symbols directly from the start. If you create a new project, a new app or a website, Start out by creating symbols for your navigation bars and for items that you use 
uh, on several artboards and in several ways and you want to edit them on a uh, single spot and those changes will all flow into the different artboards. So it's a great feature. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the thumb up and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much and we will see us in the next one. Bye.